In this video, I am going to discuss the solution to find the minimum swipe that are required to sort an array. We have an unordered array consisting of distinct integers, that is, a subset of integers. We are allowed to swipe any two elements. We need to find the minimum number of swipes required to sort an array in ascending order. Let an array A is 1, 4, 3, 2 and the position of this array is 1, 2, 3, 4. We can solve this problem by some sort of brute force method. Here I am using selection sort algorithm where basically finding the smallest element in the array and exchange it with the element in the first position. Then find the second smallest element in the array and exchange it with the element in the second position. Continue this process until done. As we can see, this method is very simple and straightforward approach for unsorted distinct integers array. For example, 1, 4, 3, 2, 2, 4, 1, 5, 4, 10, 2, 1, 0. But for unordered array consisting of consecutive distinct integers, for example, 1, 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2. This method is not efficient. In another video, I have discussed the concept of an efficient solution for unordered array consisting of consecutive distinct integers. Let's focus on unordered distinct integers array only. The important point is that we are using selection sort to solve this problem because it makes the minimum possible number of swaps n minus 1 in the worst case where n is the size of the array than other sorting algorithms. Let's look at the algorithm steps. Select the first element of the array and compare with all the other elements in the array. In every comparison, Find the smallest element which is less than the selected element and then swap these both elements and increase the swap count by 1. Repeat the process with the next element of the array until the array is sorted in ascending order. Example Let an array A is 4, 2, 1, 9 and the index of this array is 0, 1, 2, 3. Initially, swipe count is 0. Let's begin with the first iteration, which start from index 0. Therefore, assigning min log to 0. Now, compare the element of index 0 with the next element. As we can see, the element of index 1 is less than the element of index 0, that is 2 less than 4. So, at this point, Update the min log to 1. Now compare the element of index 1 with the next element. As we can see, the element of index 2 is less than the element of index 1, that is, 1 less than 2. So at this point, update the min log to 2. Now compare the element of index 2 with the next element. As we can see, the element of index 3 is not less than the element of index 2, that is 9 less than 1. So at this point, no need to update the min log. As first iteration is completed and we found a new min log that is 2. As it is different than its initial value which was 0, so at this point, swap these both elements and increase the swap count by 1. Let's begin with the second iteration, which start from index 1, therefore assigning min log to 1. Now compare the element of index 1 with the next element. As we can see, the element of index 2 is not less than element of index 1, that is 
4 less than 2. So at this point, no need to update the min log. Now compare the element of index 2 with the next element. As we can see, the element of index 3 is not less than the element of index 2, that is 9 less than 4. So at this point, no need to update the min log. As the second iteration is completed and we have not found a new min log, as it is the same as its initial value, which was 1. So at this point, no need to swap nor increase the swap count by 1. Let's begin with the third iteration, which start from index 2, therefore assigning min log to 2. Now compare the element of index 2 with the next element. As we can see, the element of index 3 is not less than element of index 2, that is, 9 less than 4. So at this point, no need to update the main log. As the third iteration is completed and we have not found a new main log as it is the same as its initial value, which was 2. So at this point, no need to swap nor increase the swap count by 1. There is no need to iterate the last element, that is 3, as per the algorithm rule. Therefore, the minimum swap required to sort this array is 1. Let's look at the implementation of this algorithm. We are using a selection sort algorithm to find the minimum swap that are required to sort an array. Because it make a minimum possible number of swap, that is, array size minus 1, in the worst case than other sorting algorithms. This is the given array for which we are going to find the minimum swaps. Initially, swap count is 0. This outer for loop is used for iterating each element of the given array. These temporary variables are used for swapping between the elements. This inner for loop is used for comparing each element of the array to all the remaining elements to find the minimum location. This if condition checks if the new minimum value found in an inner loop then store its location for swap purpose. This if condition is used to check if the minimum location is found or not by checking whether its initial location changed or not. If changed, then swap the elements using temporary variables and increase the swap count by 1. I hope you understand the logic behind this algorithm. Thanks for watching.